Hey, hey y'all, my name is Amber Harris. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. For today's video, you couldn't tell by the title, we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble. I'm super excited. I have not been since March, but I've been buying books. And yeah, today's Memorial Day. I thought, why not do that? Um, I'll show y'all what I'm wearing, but I'm super excited. I don't think I'm looking for any books in particular, if I'm being honest. Like, I, I want to look for, like, Mia Sheridan, um, and that, okay, my dad's talking to my brother, but, um, I want to look for also, I think it's, like, the things we never got over, that, like, I'll put a picture of it, that, like, um, cute little flowery daisy cover that everyone's talking about right now, and, yeah, right now I am reading, let me show you. I'm reading Bee Tree and I'm about a hundred pages in. So far so good. And yeah, let's just see where this day takes us. And I just need to pick out my shoes for the day. And yeah. Literally listening to that clip back, my dad's so loud. But does anyone else rush to Starbucks when they get to Barnes and Noble? Also, I saw this Pretty Little Liars book and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and then I saw the cover of this and I thought this was so cutesy. And now I'm just looking over the books. I do like a glance over. So I like stay in the section, honestly, probably for like five minutes just to like look through everything and then come back around. I saw this book, The Saint, and I, someone in the store was talking about how good it was. I didn't know if anyone else knew how good it was. Um, and yeah, I see people on booktube talk about it sometimes, but it didn't really intrigue me. I saw the Zodiac Academy and then Mr. Wrong Number. Okay, now I'm at the Christina Lauren section. I didn't realize how many books they have published, but I'm just glancing over. And yeah, I tend to stay in the romance section, honestly. Here I'm just showing you the books that I narrowed it down to. These are top three, and then I end up putting two back. Um, these are the two, and yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you the whole soon. Okay, hey guys, it's been a couple of hours. So the last clip that you saw, I filmed like at 11 o'clock-ish, and now it's like 6.30. So I took a little break. I didn't get back home until like 2 o'clock. Um, and yeah, I was just hanging out with my mom, having a good time. And I thought, try, let me try and get this uploaded on actual Memorial Day. We'll see. I end up getting four books, I'm pretty sure. And thanks to my friends in graduation, I had two Barnes & Noble gift cards. So I only had to pay $40 out of pocket. Also, I meant to get a Barnes & Noble membership while I was there, but I completely forgot. So if you have a Barnes & Noble membership and you think it's worth it, let me know in the comments. Even though I literally do not shop at Barnes and Noble like that, but I don't know. Also, this time around, I feel like I saw a lot more um, like authors that I tend to not see at my Barnes and Noble. Like I see at like bigger Barnes and Nobles, like in California and Texas, but they actually had some here, and I was like, ooh, okay. I literally try to make a, miss, a list in my head of like authors to look out for, and I think I got two. So, let me show you. So, first book that I got is by Mia Sheridan, which if y'all seen my wrap up, you know I read Archer's Voice in May, and it's just so good. I got Most of All of You, a love story. I know Destiny, I'm subscribed to her. She read this book and she said it's very like insta lovey. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just very intrigued because I'm pretty sure he falls first and not her. And it's, you know, basically um, Crystal and Dalton. That's this, what the story is about. And um, I think they both have a traumatic past. I try not to read the synopsis on the book because I don't want to give it away because I know sometimes it's very spoilery, but I'm super excited to read this. Hopefully I can read it this month. I really loved Archer's voice, so hopefully that book, you know, keeps going. Okay, another thing that I got that I did not need at all is by Christina Lauren, Love in Other Words. If y'all have seen my video on, I think I have a video wrapping up um, everything that I've read, I'm pretty sure in April, and I've read Love in Other Words, and I gave it three stars. And I don't know, I feel like I need to go back and reread it and just take my time with it. And I don't know, 
So I bought this pretty cover. Don't ask me why I did it. I think I want to annotate real nice and pretty in here and just reread the story, see if I fall in love with it like everyone else. I think bookstagram's really, like this is one story I feel like on the outside I should love, but like when I read it, I was like, oh, it's kind of, it's like, okay, it's not bad. Um, but I want to try rereading this, taking my time. And yeah, I just, I love the character of Elliot, but Macy, she just, she just really got on my nerve. But my mom was like, why would you do that? And I was like, this cover is so pretty. I love this cover better than the orange cover, but I want to reread this. So it's probably going to be sometime in the future. Okay, this book has been following me everywhere. Um, I should practice and say I love Colleen Hoover. On my TBR cart right now, I have two Colleen Hoover books. This will be my third book um, that's currently on my bookshelf by Colleen Hoover that I have not read. And I have read, I think, about six of her books. Um, so I want to try and read almost all of them, um, or at least, I guess, the popular ones. Um, and yeah, and I got confessed. I literally saw this at Walmart. I saw this at a Target, and then I saw it here, and I thought, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it just bite the bullet and get confess and yeah I'm super excited to read it I think it's about a girl oh not Fallon her name's um, Auburn um, and yeah and then uh, she meets a guy named Owen and Owen has a secret past so I'm super excited to read this I was on the lookout for heart bones but I could not find it uh, I think that's gonna be an Amazon order but I need to chill out on the books but I'm super excited to reconfess. I love Colleen Hoover. She can do no wrong in my eyes. Okay, so the last book that I got, drum roll. My friend Maya actually read this book. Um, so it is the fine print. This is book one and it's about Rowan and Zara. I think that's how you say her name. I'm super excited to read this book. I've never read anything by Lauren Asher, but people really like her, and I'm excited to read her. Um, and yeah. Also, I'm excited to read about like a love interest that looks kind of like me, that is like a black woman falling in love with like a white guy. I'm pretty sure he's white. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm super excited to read this. I was going to pick up another one of her books, the Throttle series, but they had literally book two through four and not one and I was like I'm, I'm pretty sure you can read them out of order but I just want to start with one and then I just want to start off with the fine print because if I like it I'll pick up the other one I'm pretty sure our third book in this series is coming out about the third brother and yeah I'm super excited I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be similar to like Disneyland and yeah Disneyland in a sense that like I think Rowan's job is like he's a higher up for like Disneyland or something like that. I don't know. I've heard people talk about it. If you can hear the TV, sorry, my dad loves listening to the TV loud. But um, I've seen a lot of people talk about it on BookTube, Instagram. I'm pretty sure I've seen it on TikTok a couple of times. So I'm super excited to read this. But that is everything that I got from Barnes and Noble. I did not do as much damage as I thought I did. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Sorry for being so awkward in some of the clips. I'm still learning how to vlog in public, but sometimes I get really nervous when people are like behind me because it's very intimidating. But let me know if you guys read any of these books. What do you think? Um, I'm super excited, honestly, out of all of these. I don't know why I'm gravitating to most of all of you by Mia Sheridan really hard. Um, I'm currently reading Bee Treat, or I told you guys that at the beginning of the video, but I think after Bee Treat, I might read most of all of you. I'm just like gravitating towards that really hard. Also, this is super random, but <laughs> I feel like the fine print is so small and no one talks about that or like kind of built different from other books. Maybe it's just me and my delusion, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys later.